All right, finally, after a couple weeks, I finally came out to the garage and did a little bit of work. Um, had a birthday not too long ago, and I bought myself uh, some new floor pans for the, the uh, cab, but uh, I just opened up the box. It finally got here a couple days ago. I'm not happy with what showed up. Hang on a second. All right, here are the floor pans that I purchased from Dennis Carpenter, which has been a very good company. Um, what I'm not pleased about is that it was damaged in transit. So, look at that. It's uh, it's pretty bent up. I could probably fix it, um, bend it back, but what a pain in the butt. So, anyway, new floor pans showed up. I even bought like a nut and bolt kit for the fenders, and that came opened as well, just loose in the box. A um, little bit of progress on the fender here, cleaning up some of the holes that I had. Um, I actually have a hole here and I'm going to cut this out a little better and uh, put a patch in there. Um, started patching on this side. Um, this whole section is what I caught out of there. So this was in here and it is just horrible. This is something that my 86 year old neighbor would do um, back in his day. So anyway, cut, cut this out and... Uh, just slowly patching. I'm going to have to bend something in here to get it to, to match up, but it'll be all right. Uh, tomorrow, I'm supposed to go pick up the engine. I was actually supposed to pick it up last Monday, uh, but craziness at work prevented me from getting over to the machine shop. So what I'm going to do is, uh, after I finish up some work tomorrow, I'm going to go down and uh, talk to the guy. He's already bored out the block. He's already done the head. Um, what he was needing was new wrist pin uh, bushings for the pistons. They were um, pretty sloppy from what he said. So I don't know if he could find them or if I have to find them. I don't know. But I uh, found little bits and pieces here and there. Um, I honestly was thinking about this last night that if I wanted to take a vacation, I probably could and would have spent a good week in a resort somewhere, maybe in like... Um, you know, Disney or whatever, and been comfortable, you know, paid tons of money for anything, but uh, what do I do? I buy parts. I buy parts for this truck, and uh, it seems like I'm never getting anywhere, but uh, anyway, this is this is it. This, this is it. Fender needs working. The fender back over there, over on that one, is done. New floor pans here. I went to Napa, and got the uh, the bucket deal where uh, you buy a bucket for three bucks and you get you know whatever you purchase that day 20% off so this is only a quarter of what I actually purchased from them this I found on Craigslist it's a heavy-duty made in Kansas City bench vice it does not have a um, swivel on the bottom but anyway my, my old neighbor next door he uh, he finally broke the other one that we had worked on a couple months ago, and he was looking for a new bench vice. So I went looking. I found this, and I also bought him a brand spanking new one. He wanted a brand new one, so I've got this for the, the bench in the back here. Okay. Um, not a whole lot of progress, as you saw, just from the previous uh, couple minutes here. But um, I'm just slowly chipping away at it. With the puppy in the house, it, it kind of keeps me pretty busy. Uh, right now they're inside in quiet time, so I'm gonna close off the video right about now So if you don't want to watch them playing around then you know click off, but uh, they they've uh, started to bond a little bit and you know It's it's still struggle with the potty training and everything. So anyway, um, I will check in with you guys as soon as I get more parts in all right Have a good one. Thanks